Uh, yes, I'm one of those introverts, and this is out of my comfort zone. So I just want to share a story with you from something that happened to me a few weeks ago. Um, I was driving down the road on my way to visit my mom when I felt that familiar Holy Spirit nudge. I had just driven past a young lady who was walking down the street. She wore a dark hat and had earbuds in her ears. I was sensing that she was contemplating suicide. I kept driving, thinking it's just my imagination. After about two or three blocks, the nudge became stronger. I pulled over and I said, okay, God, I'm sensing you want me to talk to this girl. Um, so I'm, I feel like a fool, but I'm willing to be a fool for you. So I turned around, and as I was driving back, I said, okay, God, if this is you, she'll still be walking down the same street. Sure enough, she was. I felt like God wanted me to tell her specific words. Don't do it, and he loves her. I rolled down my window, and I pulled up beside her. She pulled her earbud out of her ear. I don't recall the exact conversation word for word, but just try to picture this. I um, said to her, this might sound strange, but I was wondering if you believe in God. Actually, I'm an atheist, she replied. I feel like God wants me to tell you something. Sometimes this happens to me, and I have to do what he tells me to do, I explained. What is it, she asked. He wants me to tell you, don't do it. She had been carrying a leaf up at this point. She had been walking down the street with this leaf in her hands. And at this point, she dropped the leaf to the ground, and she put her hands over her mouth, and her eyes filled up with tears. There was a long pause as she collected herself. That is profound, actually, she uttered. Can you keep a secret? Yes, I replied, which is why I've left her anonymous. I've been considering suicide, she explained. And I said, don't do it. God loves you. Don't do it, I repeated. I asked her if she wanted to talk. She said no, she had to go. As I drove away, I felt like I needed to give her some sort of contact information. So I pulled over again and waited. I wrote the name of my church and the time and day I attend on a piece of paper. I also wrote, don't do it once again. She caught up to my van and I gave her the piece of paper explaining what it was for. I also told her I had the perfect book I wanted to give her. It's a book for teens called On Teen Suicide. I told her I was on my way to see my mom, but I had forgotten my cell phone at home so I could grab the book when I picked up my cell phone. She said she would walk slowly. I raced home and grabbed my phone and the book. When I returned with my booklet in hand, she was sitting on the corner of the street. I remember she had told me that she had to make a few turns, so instead of losing me, she just sat on the street corner and waited. I walked over to her, wrote my contact information on the inside cover, and handed her the book. We said our goodbyes, and I returned to my van. As I was driving to my mom's place, I kept praising and thanking God for using me to help her. I thanked the Holy Spirit for nudging me. I thanked the Holy Spirit for making me sensitive to his nudges. I thanked him for his persistence when I was trying to write it off as nothing and go about my own business instead of his. My adrenaline was pumping. I was feeling energized and excited. I prayed for that young lady for the remainder of my drive. What if I had ignored those nudges? What if I decided I was too, it was just too awkward and kept on driving? What if I decided I was too busy or thought I was just imagining the whole thing? Because of my willingness to be obedient, regardless of how I felt, that young lady's day has been dramatically impacted. She's never going to forget this. Being used by God to reach out to others who are hurting is the most amazing, exhilarating feeling. You don't even have to have any special talent or ability to be used by God. All you need is a willing spirit and a listening heart. There's no pressure on you. You're just the messenger. God is constantly looking for people who are willing to make themselves available. That's just one of my stories from my blog post, and if you want to read more of my blog posts, just come and talk to me, and I'll give you my blog link. That's it. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you. Need to be very careful to uh, listen and respond to the nudges of the Holy Spirit. We are people of the Spirit. And uh, God's plan for us and desire for us is to walk in the Spirit and 
to be led by the Spirit. 